Welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. I'm going to start by just closing this. And let's close this as well. The next thing I'd like to do now is to let's start creating the widgets required. So let's copy this. And right underneath the frame, the frames, I'm just going to paste that here. There. And here I will have my widgets. There we go. So the first one, let me go for, I'm just going to say self.lbl member type. And the member type is going to be right inside my, one of my frames. So let's say label. And this label should be resident right inside. Let me go for data frame left there we go and what about the font let's say font equals area yeah comma I'm gonna make it as 12 and let's make that bold close the bracket the text that I want on this widget itself is going to be known just as member type. Right, member type, that'll be the text. Just copy that and paste that in there. Close that. Space. There we go. And the next thing is going to be well, let's put a col column there and the next thing I'm going to sort of like pad it up let's say x equals let's say about 2 and I'm going to pad it to the right as well uh, sorry y axis so x axis is 2 and the y axis is 2 as well right now let's Round it up for this very label. So I'm going to come down here and just enter save dot lbl member type dot grid, and that's going to be in row zero, comma column zero as well. Right, and I'm just going to say strictly west. save that and just see how the label is going to look like and run it let's see there we go that is the label right there this very one okay that's no problem let's take care of the rest so the next thing i like to do is i like to have a combo box there so and the combo box is going to be here i'll just copy this and i just change things around paste that in there and this will become combo. Let's change the name to COB, COB, and this one will be COB as well. And right here, get rid of this. I want to get rid of this. And I just, yeah, get rid of that and just enter one there. And the widget is going to be a combo box. So let's say TTK dot combo box so that means you must have imported this very library to use the TTK okay now one other thing is the combo box is inside this very frame here that's fine I Okay, I'm going to leave this like that. That's okay. Then um, let me get rid of this for now. Get rid of everything and just. I'm going to need a variable for it as time goes on, though. So, but for 
Now let's just say the state of it is going to be read only. Right. Okay, I have my font. What about the width? Okay, let's make that about maybe 23. Right. The content that I want inside this Kubo box would be what? Correct this. Okay. The content, alright. Let's say the combo box is. I'm going to copy this, paste it right here. And in there, the value that I want in there is going to be, let's say, value for combo box using using an array so that's going to be as follows so let's put them in a bracket so the first one will be empty there's nothing there enter a comma then the second one is going to be let's say that's going to be student and, and let's go for lecturer to go for finally let's say admin staff right that's the value inside my combo box taken care of and the initial stage of that combo box is going to be zero so that's current current state that will be zero there all right let's see if that's going to work let's go to file and just run it and see save first and run it okay let's see all right we have an error oh there's a mistake there let's get rid of that l yeah and try it one more time okay there we go that's my combo box in place all right that's fine so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna copy this just to speed up the whole process i'm gonna need one more combo box really but first thing first let's create the other one the next one is going to be book id it's my book id there copy that paste paste that here and just change this to book id paste and this one become rule number one right book id is taken care of but for the book id i also want a text widget paste that there and change this to entry widget there we go and this is going to be one okay so let's get rid of this Okay, for the book ID, I'm going to get rid of all of this and let's specify width for it. I'm going to copy that width and just paste it there. And I'm going to make that about 25. Alright, let me see how it's going to look like for now. Just save and run. There we go. But I want it right here. Okay, that's no problem. That's fine. This will be one one okay so that should officially be zero and this should be one right let's try it again run and see how that was gonna look like okay that's fine now the next thing is I'm just going to copy all of this and just speed up the whole development of the widget. Alright guys, I had to speed up the development of the widgets because that would take a long time to complete. So just have a look at the lines of codes. Okay, so I'm going to move it down so that you can see the rest. You can always pause the video to copy the codes. Take it down again. Now 
take it down so that you can see those are the widget labels and text entries And that's all there is to it so if I run the program now this is what you guys will see there those are the the labels and the text entering and here we have our combo box here okay the next thing I would like to do now is just to enter a list box here with a scroll bar and here um, a text there then I uh, think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need buttons here anyway so maybe I should take care of the buttons then continue with the rest okay let's take care of these buttons so I just enter a break there so that I know what's in is in here and this would be buttons right the first, very first button is going to be let's say self dot btn display. That will be my first button. Display data called equals widget button. Widget button is going to be inside frame button right here. This very frame copy that and you can scroll right down and just paste it in here inside frame button and then comma the text content on it is going to be display display data right and let's go for the fonts I'm going to make the font 12 as well Let's copy this all of this paste that in there and just make that 30 and the border make the border equals 4 and just close that right now let's round up this button the very first one so that's going to be dot read row equals zero and comma column equals let me say zero as well. Yeah, that's my very first button. Let's run it and see how it looks like. There we go, that's the very first button nothing is happening though okay I'm gonna copy this same button and just add this to yeah three more okay all right this is going to be my exit so I can call that BTN exit exit here as well and this is going to be my reset right and this is reset and here reset and right here I'm going to call that delete and this is going to be btn delete Okay, now this is zero, that will be one, two, and three. So that's my button is created. So let's run it and see. Right there, guys, the buttons are in place. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of the second part of this tutorial, and I'll see you guys shortly.